What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again with a game preview and score prediction. My Alabama Crimson Tide, who will be going on the road to challenge those LSU Tigers, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Death Valley, I might add. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Talking, matter of fact, I ain't going to even talk about these two teams individually. I'm going to just give you my thoughts you know, on the game at the, and on these two teams. But I will talk about the quarterback position first. Garrett Nussmeyer. He's a good quarterback, but I think he's a downgrade from Jaden Daniels. After what I've seen Jaden Daniels do in his college career, especially his two years in the SEC with those LSU Tigers. Jaden Daniels was prolific in the passing game and the run game. And Garrett Nussmeyer, is nowhere near the quarterback that uh, Jaden Daniels was. Now, I do think Garrett Nussmeyer is a good quarterback, especially in the passing game. Uh, I think Garrett Nussmeyer is averaging like 300 and 330-something yards passing per game. But my Alabama Crystal Tide has only gave up 300 passing yards to one quarterback, and that was Carson Beck. And Carson Beck cars us up for like 440 yards. That's because he had so many passing attempts because they was in desperate mode in the second half. But that's no excuse for the passing yards that Carson Beck put up on my Alabama Crimson Tide. I got to say that. But Gary Nussmeyer, I don't think he will reach his average of 330 whatever yards he averaged per game. I don't think he'll uh, reach that on my Alabama Crystal Tide defense. But, you know, I know my Alabama Crystal Tide defense has had trouble in the passing game. They have had trouble in the secondary. All right. We got some young players, a lot of freshmen in the secondary. Uh, but that's okay. They, they learn it. They'll be ready to go next season. But, hey, I'm only concerned about this game right now. And I think my, quarter, my uh, secondary can get the job done. They got it done against uh, against Luther Burton and uh, Theo Wise from Missouri. Now, granted, Missouri did have their backup quarterback in. I got to say that. But anyway, uh, my secondary has performed pretty well over the last two games. Uh, to Tennessee, they get, they did give up. Um, to Tennessee, they gave up 194 passing yards to Nico and those Tennessee Volunteers when Tennessee was averaging 240 yards uh, passing yards per game before they played Alabama. And against uh, Missouri, Missouri, they only allowed, allowed 72 passing yards. Like I said, I know Missouri, Brady Cook went out and they back up had to come in. But still, my secondary had to perform. They still had to defend the, the passes that was thrown. Okay? And that didn't happen. And over the last, what, I know two games, my Alabama Crimson Tide secondary has had six interceptions. They got three against Tennessee, three against Missouri. They had uh, three against UGA. So we can get turnovers. I think Alabama has gotten 18 turnovers on the season. Now, granted, LSU, I think LSU, they got, uh, I think they got like 11 turnovers on the season, I believe. So, yeah, man, my Alabama Crimson Tide is doing their thing. I, I want to be sure about these turnovers. So let me go back and check it out. LSU, far as turnovers, they got one, two, four interceptions. And uh, far as former recovers, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they got 12 uh, turnovers on the season on the defense side of the ball. As far as my Alabama Crimson Tide, as far as interceptions, we got one, Three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven interceptions. And um, how many form recovers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So eighteen turnovers on the season. So, and we know Kane Womack, he preach, he preach about getting turnovers. But we gotta turn as an offense, we gotta uh, turn those turnovers into scores, which we didn't do against Tennessee, and that ultimately cost us the game. Okay, so if we get turnovers against LSU, we got to turn those turnovers into, into points. As far as the run game, 
We know both defenses, they have issues with the run game. Alabama giving up like 144 yards rushing per game. LSU giving up like 130, I think 130, 133 yards rushing per game. So both defenses have issues, you know, in the in the in the run game. So we'll see how that goes. Now I do think my Alabama Crimson Tide have the best running back uh room, you know, better than LSU. I'll just say that with Jam Miller and Justice Haynes, and ho hopefully we'll see some of Richard Young. All right, but um, you know, LSU, they got some backs too, and uh, they can catch out the backfield just like Jam Miller and Justice Haynes too, both of their backs. So, yeah, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. These two teams, man, they match up evenly. I'm telling you not that they match up easy, evenly, but I think my defense will get – a couple of more stops than LSU's defense. That's just my opinion. I'm an Alabama fan, and that's what I'm supposed to think. As far as the quarterbacks, you know, uh, Garrett Nelsonmeyer, more of a passing quarterback, more of a pocket passer, pro-style quarterback. This guy, he's already threw the ball, had 333 passing attempts. Jalen Miro, I think Jalen Miro only had uh, 203 passing attempts. Okay, so... This guy has thrown the ball over 130 more times than Jalen Miro, but he only got like what? Uh, let me check it out. But he only got like five or 600 more yards passing than, than Jalen Miro. So, yeah, Jalen Miro threw for uh, 1,900 yards, 1,937. Garrett Nussmeyer has threw for uh, 26, okay, 700 more yards than um, than than Jalen Miro that Garrett Nussmeyer had. But he, like I said, he got 133 more attempts than him. So, but anyway, and he has 20 touchdowns, nine interceptions. I think Jalen Miro, he's thrown 13 touchdowns and six interceptions. Hopefully, Jalen Miro could add to his numbers. But Jalen Miro has been off his game lately. Uh, There's been rumors that he's been hurt. I don't know, but I watched the game, uh, a run that he did. Uh, against Missouri. He was running like he was hurt. Maybe that's why Jalen Miro hasn't been, uh, you know, using his legs in these games. You know what I'm saying? But hopefully, coming off a of bye week, if he was hurt, I hope he's healthy, fully healthy. All right? But one thing that makes me nervous going into this game is Kyron Lacey. Well, for LSU, it's Kyron Lacey. And uh, Kyron Lacey, I guess that's how you pronounce his name, and Aaron Anderson. Those two guys are fast, and both of them got great hands. So our defensive backs are going to have to be on their P's and Q's. And like I said, they held down Luther Burton, who was a, who's supposed to be one of the best wide receivers in all the college football. They held him down. They held down Theo Wise, who's a great uh, wide receiver himself. But – this game is going to be won in the trenches. I'm going to tell you that right now. But another thing I forgot to mention about these LSU Tigers. Uh, LSU's run defense is ranked 11th in the SEC. So they what? I went, yeah, ranked 11th in the SEC. Um, so I think I was ranked a little better, even though we give up a couple of more yards than them. But hey, that's okay. They ranked 11, and I think our strength of schedule is a little harder, has been a little harder than uh, LSU's. So, yeah, man. Mm, what else I can talk about in this thing? I talked about the quarterbacks, the running backs, the defense, the trenches. The trenches. This These linebacker core, man. LSU, they got a linebacker who already has uh, eight sacks on the season. Uh, what's his name? That would be. Uh, LSU. One guy, he has eight sacks on the season for them, and that would be uh, Braden Swenson. And and if you ask me, I think LSU's defense is doing better without Walter Nolan. That's just me. LSU's defense, man, I think his name, was it Walter Nolan? I'm not sure. What was that guy named for LSU last year? Uh, and he transferred. Uh, to, was it Walter Nolan? I'm not really sure. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. He ain't with LSU no more. All right. But 
Oh, I think Walter Nolan was with Texas a and One of those guys. Anyway, anyway, this guy got eight sacks for LSU, so we're going to have to keep a watch on this guy. Our two tackles, you know, we're, we've been having issues at the two tackle spots, right and left tackle. So we got to have that, uh, those sides of the ball, you know, these rushes coming off the edges. We got to keep them in check. Caden Proctor, Elijah Pritchett, we got to keep y'all, keep those uh, edge rushers in check. That's what we got to do. We got to win the trenches, man. Tim Keenan, especially on the defense side of the ball. Tim Keenan, Tim Smith, we got to win the trenches. Tyler Booker, Jaden Roberts, Elijah Pritchett, if it's Wilkin Formula, whoever. Vandy Mark, whoever in there. We got to win in the trenches. We got to protect Miro. We got to open holes for these running backs. These two teams, they do match up well. And it might come down to who win in the trenches. It might come down to that. And we know old, old Brian Kelly, he's Brian Kelly, he's a crafty little, little ass. He crafty. So, hey, we're gonna see. We're gonna see Kalen DeBoer once again. Can't forget about the environment that we gonna that Alabama is gonna be in in Death Valley. You know it's gonna be loud. Just like if you know this crowd could have an effect on the game, just like that Tennessee crowd when we traveled up to Neyland Stadium. So we gotta be prepared for a loud and ruckus crowd or environment. Cause it's gonna be that. So Let's get ready for it, Alabama. Now, y'all know I'm picking my Alabama Crimson Tide to win this game. And like I said before, I ain't giving no score. I just want a win. That's all I want. I didn't give a score for the Missouri, uh, uh, Missouri Alabama game. I'm not going to give a score for this game, but I am picking my Alabama Crimson Tide to win this game. Now, this is an elimination game for both teams. Whoever win, their hopes are their playoff hopes are still alive. But uh, if they don't win, well, the loser, uh, their playoffs hope is down the drain. I do know that. I do know that. Yeah, yeah. Walter Nolan was Texas A and M, but LSU, they had a dag on a uh uh. uh linebacker last season who was supposed to be one of the best linebackers or, or edge rushers. They had an edge rusher last season and in 2022 who was supposed to be one of the best edge rushers in the country. But Brian Kelly and his defensive staff with their prowess, instead of letting them rush the passer, which letting this guy rush the passer, which was his, which was his uh, uh, specialty, they was having him drop in coverage a whole lot. So he really wasn't effective, all right? But I think he transferred to old, uh, old Miss. So, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he trans. I think he transferred to old Miss or some damn well. I don't know. I don't even remember the guy's name. But anyway, if y'all remember the guy's name, y'all let me know who I'm talking about because I remember the guy, just don't remember his name. But I know those LSU fans remember who I'm talking about. So y'all let me know in the comments. But anyway... I'm picking my Alabama Crimson Tide to win this game. Don't know the score. I don't care if it's about one point, two points, three points, four points, 30 points. I just want my Alabama Crimson Tide to win this game, and I want Jalen Milrow to have a dominant game and lead us to victory. Now, you know we're going to take a few deep shots. You know that. And I'm sure we're going to take a couple of deep shots to Ryan Williams. I'm sure of that. But let's spread this ball around. We got other wide receivers. I know Cole Adams, he's out for the rest of the season. So somebody else will have to step up. I read that uh, that uh, Ryan Williams, he'll be taking over punt return and kick return duties. I don't like that. I don't like that. But, hey. Kalen DeBoer knows best. He did it in high school. Hopefully he can do it. He done, he done did it before with Alabama, but I just don't like it. But anyway, uh, what else? What else? That's about it. Like I say, 
I'm picking my Alabama Crimson Tide to win this game. All right? And uh, hopefully we can win it convincingly. But if it's a close game and my Alabama Crimson Tide win, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Win, playoff hope stays alive. Lose, playoff hopes is down the drain. That's all I can say. So, let me know what y'all think. Let me know who y'all think going to win, LSU or Alabama. All right. Uh, Ole Miss and Georgia play this weekend. That's another big game. Um, I think, you know, if Georgia lose, they play all hopes of being jeopardy too. But if they win, they ain't got nothing to worry about. All right. They, they can lose and, and, and probably still be good for the playoff. But if my Alabama Crimson Tide or LSU, LSU lose, it's over. It's over for them. So uh, appreciate y'all watching it. And uh, hey, it is what it is. Let the chips fall where they may. All right. So like I said, appreciate y'all watching. Remember, be blessed. And KB don't give a piss about nothing but the tide and roll. Damn tight.